Alrighty, got my second league match of the season now between myself and Recycled Garbage. We're about to take out the trash. What have we got here? This kingdom looks incredibly strong. Uh, the the big thing is Procession Paddock. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. We got trashing with Lookout or Doctor, Actions, Procession or Village. Plus buy. Baron is plus buy. You can gain things off procession. Black market plus buy. Uh, draw, paddock, horses, processed horses, advisor, potentially <laughs> patrician. Um, plenty of stuff going on here. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> overwhelmingly the, the, the best thing to do here is get processions and then use processions on horses. It's just a really strong combination. Anytime you have procession and basically any horse gainer, that combo is just kind of off the charts. Because, you know, horse is like a one shot laboratory, but if you process it, you're getting like an extra lab plus a village effect. So, like, it makes your processions like lost cities that also gain additional processions. And so that's just like bonkers. Uh, just before the match, Recycle Garbage is joking that they wanted a Black Market cage match. We just play Black Market every time. Um, we also have the like list turned on, and both of us have Black Market um, among our liked cards. So it's 400% uh, as likely as normal to show up. <laughs> mm. So how do we get to the Procession Paddock stuff as fast as possible? I think you want to get thin to make sure you can line that stuff up. Uh, so the first thing that's coming to my mind is just overpay for Doctor here. Oh, uh, is there anything faster than that? You could do like, I don't know, Baron Silver, and then try to get a big dock overpay on the next shuffle. That could be a thing. That's a little bit riskier. But like, if, if you, for example, found like Baron Silver in a state turn three, you'd be in a phenomenal position. I don't think I want to take that gamble though. I'm gonna up with Doctor. Um, trash and copper is not what you really want to see, but it is more likely than not. Uh oh. So they got the the five two doctor, which is just a lot better. <laughs> doctor is horrible on three four, to the point of you don't buy it. It's fine on four three, and it's amazing on five two. You both trash twice as many cards, and you're more likely to hit estates. They've trashed two estates. Uh, I am already um, very much fearing for my chances here. Uh, so we'll take a uh, silver now. This is unfortunate because, you know, normally I would think that this is a great kingdom to be player one in. Procession paddocks can be really fast, so that one turn advantage matters a lot. Um, but I feel like they've kind of stolen the lead from me with that 5 2. Mm. I think I'm going to name. Copper here. I mean, the copper is more likely to hit. That's probably the most important thing. Obviously, you'd rather trash estates in the abstract. I guess if I name a state, I'm really likely to hit five, so that might be good. Maybe I just name a state, and then I've most likely got three coppers and a silver top decked, and then I can buy paddock. Uh, next turn. That could be the idea. I think I'm coming around on that. Yeah, I think I'm going to name a state instead, even if it means I trash fewer cards. Maybe I'll get really lucky and hit both the states. They're thinking long and hard here. <laughs> My guess is they didn't do much of the, the, the thinking before turn one. Because with, with five two, you're just like, all right, I'm clicking doctor automatically. And so now they're doing all the, th the thinking that they didn't um, previously. Okay, well, I think trashing two coppers would have been nice, but trashing a state is also not bad. Do I actually want to look out? 
Yeah, I'm probably the lookout. I don't think I like their black market buy very much. Black market's a lovely card, obviously. Uh, that's why it's a 400% in this match. But I, I think this kingdom's just a little bit too strong to be taking a detour into black market things. I think black market's worst kingdoms are incredibly strong kingdoms. We don't really need to find additional cards in the black market in the first place because the game's just going to end. Uh, and then incredibly weak kingdoms where you're, the kingdom's just like so devoid of stuff that even adding cards to the black market won't have value. And then it does really good in that like middle 90% of kingdoms. But I, I think we're in the strong kingdom territory here. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, it's not really what I wanted to see, actually. I wanted my doctor to hit. Uh, unfortunate. So I've got an estate down there, and I've got a bunch of coppers down there. So I think I'm gonna name Copper now. Okay, well, it turns out what estate would have been better, but I had no way of knowing that. We'll get our procession now. Maybe they don't see the procession paddock thing. That that could be good. Uh, maybe the black market buy signifies that they don't realize that the procession paddock combination is ex is as strong as it is, and they're playing this like a more standard kingdom. Uh, I would buy engineer here, um, or maybe falconer if you can afford it, just because those gain procession, which makes them very good. I mean, even dungeon honestly would would not be a bad card, although I wouldn't buy that if I had four. Because even if Engineer and Falconer weren't around, Procession's got to be better. Is Procession currently on my like list? I feel like it often is on there. No, it's not at the moment, but I really like Procession. It's a fun card. You get wild and wacky combinations. As will likely show up in this game. take our first procession here. Uh, it doesn't line up with the horse, although maybe it still could. I think I'm going to play the patrician first and then process the doctor if I don't find a better target. I don't think I feel that behind anymore, even after the 5-2. I feel like this black market line is, is not amazing. I mean, I'm, they're probably still ahead. They're thinner and they've, they've got falconer, so they, they could still go into the procession thing. Yeah, they, they might still be ahead, actually. Um, my hope is just that they're not doing Procession Paddock, which would give me a fighting chance. Okay, how many coppers have I trashed? I've trashed six coppers. I'm looking at one in hand, so there's no point in naming copper anymore. Let's see if I can hit that estate. I cannot. I need to find a better surface for this mouse. I'm struggling to move it. Um, hmm. I got three. I think Black Market actually be, might be good for me now. Just because it's a, a target for procession more than anything else. Like, I, don't, I don't desperately need any of these cards that cost three. I think I'm going to play the lookout first. I really want to make sure I can find procession and process the horse. Let's see if I can't find a mouse pad. Okay, here we go. Much better. Oh, now that's what we like to see. I think I'm inclined to trash the copper over the estate. I feel like money is going to be no object here, and the one extra point might just be enough to save me one gain and make it easier to end the game. Uh, also, Baron, I guess, is a thing I could get here. What if I were to, like, gain Baron, draw Baron, process Baron... All that sounding really nice. Uh, huh. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I think I'm on board with that. I'm a little over terminal doing this, but we'll live. Now just three processions. That might be overkill, given that I've only got two horses for targets. Maybe I do like two processions and an advisor. I could populate. That that can't be right, but I could. Uh, I think that would make my deck just a little bit too unwieldy. I don't want bard, doctor, lookout, etc. in there. I think we're just gonna do two processions and an advisor. Uh, again, I think I'm going to play this Lookout just to maximize my chance of lining things up, even if it means I trash a good card. This isn't really an ideal starting hand. I haven't found any of my processions yet, uh, and I'm going to have to waste one of my horses drawing it. I, th I think there's still a decent chance I can draw well here if I draw a procession, process the other horse, then maybe draw a procession advisor and process that. So I got I got two paddocks and I've got three processions. So I, I I'm I'm feeling good about this. They've got a village, which I don't think is super useful. It's not bad. But they both they got a bard? Why do they have a bard? Why how could you possibly want a bard? When did they get the bard? They gained a bard with a falconer. Oh, the, I see. They gained a bard with... They didn't gain it with the falconer. They gained a bard off the black market because bard is a two-type card. And they wanted to activate their falconer. Okay, I, I, I can see why they might want a bard in that situation. Um, among the, the $4 actions that they could have gained from processioning their black market, only bard is a two-type, which means you can activate falconer for free. <clears throat> Oh, it's undo request. <laughs> what are they gaining? I don't know what their hand is, but I would just assume it's procession. Procession is like throne room, and throne room is a really good card. Procession is a little bit more situational because you can't use it on non or you can't use it on duration cards. And sometimes you have like a limited number of good actions that you don't want to trash. So, for example, you know, throne rooming a paddock might be better than processioning a paddock because you don't lose the paddock. Uh, but in its best cases, procession is really, really good because it gets you additional extra action cards into your deck on the same turn, which lets things snowball in a, a way that throne room does not. You know, not only are you upgrading an action card. Uh, from say like a 4 to a 5 or a 3 to a 4 but I think the thing that makes procession so strong is it's not the upgrade of like getting a slightly stronger action card it's that the action card you get is no longer in play and so then you can play it again because uh, it's now back in your deck which uh, allows you to chain things in a crazy way which I expect we'll see here hopefully from me but if not from me then from them not that it's super important, because there's like 30 horses to go around anyway, but you don't actually even trash the horse when you process the horse, because Procession trashes the action card at the end of playing it twice. You play it twice first and then you trash it. And a horse returns itself to the pile while resolving its effect. And so when Procession goes to trash it from play, the horse has already left play, and so it can't trash itself. They're thinking long and hard here. I'm not totally sure what they mean by that, to be honest. Isn't that a metaphor for anger? Why would they be angry right now? I don't know, maybe they mean it literally. Maybe maybe they actually have a terrible medical condition. My hope is maybe that they mean they're angry at themselves for having not noticed the procession paddock thing. Um, I'm still not totally sure if they, like... If they were playing it from the get-go, but the way they've gotten here feels a little bit indirect. Like it looks like they're doing it now. They've got procession now. They got paddock now. But uh, 
I don't know, their opening buys didn't suggest to me that they're going for it. Well, not the opening buys, the buys right after the opening, like the black market stuff. <laughs> All right, eventually we're gonna decide what we want for this falconer. Uh, <laughs> third time's the charm. If, if they don't gain the best card ever off of this falconer, they, they've spent, I don't know, like five, six minutes on this decision. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really mind. It, Black market games normally take ages. I think this one's actually not going to take ages because of the, the procession paddock stuff. So I was already strapped in for a long game. I hope they can't win here. I don't think they can, but like I, I don't want to to understate just how good the procession paddock combo is. Like you just start with like a few processions and a few horses, and then miraculously the pile holes vanish just they, they disappear you you play a procession on procession then procession on a horse the horse turns into another procession the procession you procession turns into another paddock that gets you more horses more processions and you play it again it just spins out of control like with, with good draws this game could probably have ended turn eight i don't i don't even want to exaggerate like you get a, like a good five two dock straight into procession paddock and get some early lineups of procession and horse. I, I think that there's a line where they could have ended this game turn eight with their opening. Uh, and some good shuffle luck. Okay. So after uh, lengthy deliberation, we've concluded that playing advisor is the best move here. Now we're gonna gain procession. I believe Recycle Garbage is currently number one in our division. Um, let me check the standings. Yeah, Recycle Garbage is a 12 and 6 win rate. Uh, I'm currently 3 3 after my first match. Uh, oh, shoot. Now you're going to make me think. Oh, no. Um. Uh oh. So, do they have any additional draw cards? Ah. I probably should have been paying attention to their deck beforehand, just in case something like this comes up. In their hand is at least so they have an estate. and two coppers. Um, we're looking at their paddock. They have two processions, I believe, right? right. Oh, wait, do they only have one procession? Oh, well. Hmm. So they have two estates and a or an estate and two coppers. What are those other cards? They got a silver, don't they? They got a silver. What's the final card? It's not black market, right? They've killed their black market. Uh it's not the bard. It's not paddock, I don't think. not their village. It's not a lookout. Is it the doctor? Ah, it's their doctor, ain't it? Yeah, their hand is estate, two coppers, silver doctor. So I could give them the procession, in which case they procession the doctor. I don't want to do that. So maybe, maybe let... Oh, I only need to discard one card, don't I? Um... So I think I should discard procession. I, I think letting them proc the dock or proc bar or proc paddock is probably uh, worse than just letting them play one of these terminals. They'll play the paddock, but I think the alternative scenarios were worse. If I like discarded paddock and they, they could procession the doctor and get two fours or procession the bard and get a five and another procession, all of that just kind of sounds scarier to me.
Okay. Man, it's been a long time since I was deliberating on how to play this hand. That was eons ago at this point. Okay, this is going well so far. Maybe I want another Baron. I like that plus buy thing that Majiga was doing. Give me my cards. I will draw everything here. The advisors should draw all but one, and then I can play Patrician to draw whatever the last card is. Maybe the Baron was greedy. I still have like an incredible number of terminal cards. Uh, I could have considered just taking another procession. I don't think their choice here actually matters much. It might a little bit. You know, even if I can draw everything eventually, maybe if you give me, you know, processions too early, then I can set up a, a chain of processions, uh, which could be worse. Um, but it, it's not going to matter too much. I would just discard procession. Okay. So I've got two paddocks down there. I could draw them both immediately with uh, Patrician, guarantee the Patrician hits. I think I might want to proc first, like Procession, Procession, Black Market, Patrician. Actually, maybe I do Paddock first to get some horses down there. And then I do Procession, Procession, Patrician, Horse. Hmm. I think I like the idea of proccing black market. Get a procession in that shuffle and also get something nice potentially. Workshop, I will take you happily. Um, is Seer worth anything? I mean, Seer's a really good card here. I think I'll take a Seer. And another procession. Oh, my Patrician just whiffed entirely. That's sad. <coughs> I had three five-cost actions down there. The odds that it hit were not low. I guess I should take a village now. So I can play all these terminals that I've got. So I believe those bottom cards include a horse. All right? Yeah. So I could just play this Seer once and draw the horse, and I think I would still draw rather than processioning it. Yeah, this seems fine. Now I'll workshop to gain another procession. We'll draw that. Now we're going places. All right, here's where the fun begins. How do I do this? So I, I can put more horses down there pretty easily by playing paddocks. Like here, I'm pretty close to the pilot already. I think piling out procession and paddock would actually not be hard. Um, the difficulty is I don't think there's a good third pile, just given these cards. Like, there's not another five cost I can gain off of processions quite this easily. I do just kind of want to deny them processions. So I want to make sure I take the last two processions somehow. I think one will be gained off of processing a village. One will be gained off of processing a horse, probably. Maybe I gain one procession now, proc the village to get a, a baron and then proc a horse for draw, get the last procession. Something like that sounds pretty good, right? Put some horses down there. Get our Baron now. Get the last procession. Do I want to... Uh Process the Baron. I could think about that. Oh, dog, what are you doing? Nope, nope, don't. No! <laughs> Sorry, my dog saw my headphones and decided they were a toy. Uh, I don't think they can, I don't think they have all too many processions. Um, so I don't have to worry too much about their threat. I could proc the Baron for extra buys. I could uh, just proc the paddock to make sure I have plenty of horses. That might be the best, actually. Just guarantee I don't dud, because I've got a million processions in my deck. Yeah, I think I'm going to play it safe, and we're just going to put a lot of horses in our deck. What am I buying? 
I will get plenty of paddocks off of processioning processions, and then I think I can pile estates next turn by just proccing barons to get lots of buys and even gain estates directly. So I think next turn should be an easy win provided a draw. So maybe just add some advisors. They're simple procession targets and can maximize my chance of drawing. I mean, it's still advisor though. Advisor's not a very strong card. I don't think I need to play around them piling up. I just don't think their deck is strong enough right now. I could buy a province though if I wanted to. Oh, maybe I just, hmm, new idea. I'm gonna buy maybe two advisors and a doctor and just not trash anything. And then th all the doctor is doing is top decking a bunch of uh, horses for me. They'll top deck in the state, but I don't care that much about that. On, on the whole, top decking like four horses and two advisors feels like a good way to make sure I don't dud. So I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna, gonna go two, wait, do I have to worry about lowering advisors? I, just, I don't believe in the quality of their deck, I don't think. There's one procession of the trash, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in my deck. They've only got two processions. They can't do anything. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure I win next turn. We're only going to overpay by one top deck. I hope I haven't underestimated their deck. We'll, we'll find out momentarily. But I don't, I don't think they've got enough processions here to pile up. All right, turn 10, that's that's on the slow end, I think, for procession plus a strong horse gainer, but it's not, it's still not bad. I'm expecting a turn 10 win here, and I, I think that'll, that'll be satisfactory. Uh, discard Bard, I guess. I think the strongest are probably Groom and Cavalry. Cavalry, I think, being number one, as far as just uh, utterly wacky procession combos go. Procession and experiment is also sort of a de facto procession horse combo, and that one's pretty good. Uh, Paddock's not a bad one, though. Uh, I don't think Devil Province actually worries me all too much here. I mean, if, the, if they double, their deck still sucks. And so maybe I can't win, and then I just win the next turn. But I, I think there's probably a decent chance that even if they double province here, I can do five estates, or sorry, eight estates, five paddocks, and a province, which would still be winning. Uh, I think I want to lead with horse here. I know both of these two cards here are draw cards, and I want to make sure I draw both of them. Um, and I can potentially consider playing advisors after that. I think horses before advisors is still good. All right, now we found two processions, so now let's go... Do I want to procession the advisors, or do I want to procession the horses? I need to gain at least five paddocks, but I think I will be able to chain enough processions to get five paddocks just off of processing processions. So I think I would rather procession the horses to get barons. Because I, I don't really need more than five five dollar action gains. And I think just processions alone will get me to five action gains. Surely they should discard procession here. I mean, they might discard horse if they, they weren't following that last turn closely, but they should know that I've already got a horse in hand. Yeah, they discard procession. It doesn't matter. I've got like eight processions on my deck. I can't like not find them. I should still be more than fine. Uh, do, 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 do. We'll gain a baron. Procession, procession. Gain a baron. Procession. Procession, gain a Baron, uh, Procession, gain a Baron, Procession, Procession. I'm gonna like six pile this or something absurd. Um, just put some horses down there just to be super duper safe. Just proc a Baron. Uh, proc a workshop I guess we get like a free four cost off of it all right I think this should be a pretty trivial win from here this discarding a state actually might be the best play here I kind of have the estate with the barons oh, okay 
Uh, I can play lookout now just to make sure I draw well. Don't think I care about the paddocks, so I'll kill a paddock. Okay. So now we can go Baron, 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 Baron. Oh, and the paddocks are villages. I forgot about that. Um, oh, why well, couldn't I put the paddocks before drawing then? How off I <laughs> this literally came up in a J League match. We watched them make the same mistake where you forget that the paddock became non-terminal. Uh, I I I clearly deserve to be in J League. Um, all right, GG. All right, well that's possession horse for you.